name is Annie, and today I'm here with my friend Chef, and today we're gonna make an LBT plus G sandwich. That is a lettuce, bacon, tomato, and guacamole sandwich, also known as the LGBT sandwich. <gasps> LGBT sandwich? But aren't those too spicy for kids? We shouldn't be sharing this kind of sandwich with the little ones. I guess you could make it spicy. You can make pretty much any sandwich spicy with the right ingredients. But no, LGBT sandwiches are not necessarily spicy on their own. But is that really a risk we are willing to take? <laughs> um, chef, it's perfectly all right. See, while yes, there maybe are some LGBT sandwiches out there that are spicy, but that doesn't mean all LGBT sandwiches are spicy. The ones that aren't can make excellent and healthy snacks. Like this one, it's even got vegetarian baking. Some LGBT sandwiches are even made in a presentation specifically for kids, like this. And some are made for kids by kids, like this. LGBT sandwiches are definitely not spicy by default. They're pretty much just like any other sandwich. And it's important that kids experience a wide variety of sandwiches so they get a better understanding of the world and themselves. Does that make sense? Yes, I guess you're right. I'm glad you see it that way, Chef. Did you know that there are some powerful people out there who completely block young folks from ever getting LGBT sandwiches? What? Yes. And you know what else? What? We're not actually talking about sandwiches, Chef, but rather how YouTube has blocked videos with LGBT topics in mass in their restricted mode. <coughs> a function meant to provide YouTube users with a family-friendly experience. <gasps> yep, not cool. Right now, some LGBT YouTubers have nearly their entire channels blocked just because they might mention that they're LGBT. And these videos don't necessarily have any bad words or violence or anything that you shouldn't be seeing. What this action implies is that YouTube more than likely is participating in assuming that the LGBT community is spicy. That's awful. I know. Truly, the big concern here is LGBT youth. If their parents enforce the restrictive mode, they're being isolated from consuming content that can offer them a sense of community and understanding and cis and straight youth are perpetually being distanced from their LGBT siblings if they don't have access to that content. I know the lack of resources and representation when I was younger caused a lot of needless suffering for myself and members of my community. It perpetuates that being LGBT is a bad thing and that is dangerous for everyone. What can we do? Well, we can only really try and make sure people know about this and remind people that there is nothing inherently spicy or not suitable for children about the LGBT community. And there is currently a petition going around asking YouTube to inform creators when their videos are placed in the restrictive mode, providing guidelines as to what is being filtered, and giving channels a clear way to appeal if necessary. I'll provide the link in the description below. And from there, we just have to wait and see how YouTube decides to correct this matter. Can we eat our sandwiches when we wait? Of course we can, Chef. To hoping we don't end up in the restricted section. We'll see you eventually. Bye.